The brand new DJI Air 2S has an eight times zoom, but is it digital or is it using sensor cropping? In this test, we're gonna find out so that you can get the best possible shots. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning On, and if you appreciate these tutorials for the brand new Air 2S and other DJI drones, then hit that subscribe button below. In the meantime, this is a great feature of this new drone, but only if it's actually valuable to use, and that's what we're going to be assessing in this video. There are two types of zoom. There's digital zoom and then there's sensor cropping. And when you have a lovely, big, generous one inch sensor like we have here, it means that instead of digitally expanding the pixels and therefore losing quality, it can actually crop to parts of the sensor and therefore maintain full resolution. The question is whether this drone is digitally zooming or sensor cropping, and that's what we're going to try and establish in this video. If our conclusion is that this is digitally zooming, then you're better off shooting and zooming in post-editing, for example, in Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere or DaVinci. Our hope is that the drone instead is using sensor cropping, so let's go do some filming and find out. So this really is a fantastic place to film. Hopefully it'll be good for testing the zoom as well. So let's get this little boy in the air and let's see what happens. Okay, so we're in the air and at the moment we are in one time zoom. So this is just general standard resolution. Now, what can we focus in on? Oh, this is me. <laughs> what a great first example, eh? So you can see the screen record at the moment. So you can see me sat on this cool, like wartime looking turret. I don't quite know what it is to be honest, but it's very, very cool. So what I'll do is switch to photo mode uh, on the menu like that. And we'll take a single photo. In fact, no, first of all, I'll set the focus point on me. There we go, take a photo. There's our first photo for comparison. That's at one times zoom. It's at this point that I realized for the first time that the Air 2S doesn't let you use zoom for photos. It's only available for video. This feels like a big gap because for those users that simply want to shoot and share, having to zoom in post editing will be a frustration. Let's hope that the app evolves to enable this simple and obvious feature. So next, onto the video test. What I'm gonna do is now zoom in to four times. So I'm gonna press the little one times on the screen. Now we're at two times, there you go. Now I'm just gonna rotate the image a bit so we can get me perfectly in shot there in the middle. There we go, lovely. And that's two times. Looks really, really nice and sharp on the screen here. Now let's go to the next, which is four times. Again, looks nice and sharp. You can see me there. Do we have anything more? No. So just up to four times. Now I think that's because we're shooting in 4K. If we were in 1080p, then you'd get eight times, obviously. But what we're gonna do, we want to compare whether this is a sensor crop or whether it's just a regular digital zoom. In other words, are you better off shooting in the zoomed state like this, or are you better off just zooming it in in post and shooting everything in one time zoom? That's the real test here. So what I'm now gonna do is put this footage, the four times zoomed in footage, alongside footage of the one times, which looks like that. So on the left, we've got the four times zoom straight from the drone, whilst on the right, we've got the one times video magnified digitally in Adobe Premiere by four times. Comparing the two, it's quite obvious that the left-hand image has far more detail, clarity, and retains much more resolution than the digitally zoomed equivalent. Look specifically at the cracks in the stone on which I'm sat. The lines are far sharper with greater clarity. Also at the round sign on top of the image, plus even the grass and foliage have far more detail. Finally, look at the Osmo Action sat on its little tripod, much sharper than the right-hand image. Overall, there's also far less noise in the left-hand image, and therefore I'd say for certain that this zoom isn't digital and that it's indeed using a sensor crop, which is great. Okay, so that's the first test. Now what we're gonna do, there's a boat right out there in the distance. So I'm actually gonna switch to 1080p for this test because we wanna see what the, the zoom is like there as well. And okay, so we're in, now we're in 1080p. I'm gonna turn around so we can see the boat. Now you actually can barely see it. It's just on the horizon there. You see it right in the middle of the frame now. So at one times, so that's what it looks like in one times zoom at the moment. 
That's remember in 1080p, so I'm upscaling this to 4K for the purposes of this video. But that's in 1080p. Now, if let's zoom into number two, two times. Let's just center that in frame a little bit better. And then into four times. And I'm hoping that we now end up with an eight times. There you go, there's eight times zoom, look at that. Now, exactly the same test again. We're gonna put the image of the one time zoom next to it, but zoom in the one time zoom by eight times to see if we could get exactly the same effect in post editing as if we were in shooting. Compared to the previous 4K four times zoom test, the results here for 1080p and eight times are significantly different. It's highly unlikely that you would ever be filming 1080p in order to zoom in post because the resolution just isn't appropriate for it when we render out to 1080p. This test shows why. Magnifying eight times or in Adobe Premiere, it's 1600% on a 4K timeline. The boat detail is almost entirely gone, as is the clarity of the buildings on the horizon behind the boat. That's Denmark, by the way. So there's even more evidence that this drone isn't performing digital zoom and instead is cropping the sensor for better resolution. Okay, so now something a little bit closer to really, really look at some close detail. I'm gonna go back to 4K because most of us are gonna be shooting in 4K, I think. Now, when you're shooting wildlife, you do not want to get too close to it because obviously you're gonna disturb it and that's not nice. So what we st instead do is use the zoom. And if we can find, so let's just zoom up now. This is the great thing about a zoom actually. You can have a nosy around without actually getting close to anything. So there's actually, there's a nice big swan there. You see those swans? And you never want to get too close to swans. So if we go back to our one time zoom, we'll get a bit closer, but not too close. We don't want to scare them off. There we go. So that's what it looks like in one times. What we're now going to do is up that by four times in post editing, which looks like that. And then by the side of it, now there's the four times footage that you can see now and which looks sharper. Let's talk about that now. As per our previous 4K full time zoom test, this once again shows much improved clarity than the post edit digital zoom. Look at the swan outlines, which is significantly sharper in the native in drone zoomed footage. Okay, so this will be quite interesting. We're looking directly downwards now from only about five meters or so straight down into the water, which is crystal clear here in Sweden. So what I'll now do is multiply that by four times uh, in post editing. And now by the side of it, I'll put in the view from the drone magnified by four times during shooting. Once again, you've got it. Loads more sharpness, clarity, and overall a better image from the drone's native zoom, which we know now just isn't digital, but a sensor crop for sure. So there we go, they're the zoom capabilities of the new Air 2, tested fully. Hopefully that's useful for you guys. And it is really important to think about this when you're editing in post. If you shoot your footage already zoomed in, you never have any opportunity to show the footage zoomed out because you recorded it zoomed in. Whereas if you record it zoomed out, you can then zoom in later. Ultimately, the choice is yours and hopefully this video has been useful. Comment below with your thoughts on this. Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if your face looks better zoomed out. And of course, hit the subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching.